Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. Um, so I have a new yarn to show you on, uh, from Michaels. Um, first off though, I do want to say that um, I do not have a tutorial for this hat. This is a uh, store-bought hat. Um, I bought it from Walmart like uh, years ago. And I do have a tutorial for that <clears throat> show back there. If, you, if I remember, I'll put it in the comment section or you can look for it under my playlist of shawls. Okay, so, uh, you know, I always like to show you and keep you updated on the new yarn. So today is 7-25-2021. Michaels, they have a new yarn that is their brand. Well, it's Craft Smart, which is a value yarn. And I know some of you might be thinking, oh, not Craft Smart. Okay, so Craft Smart wasn't always that good of a yarn it was an okay yarn you know um but i have noticed over the past year that they have actually made it better and it's actually as far as the way it feels it actually feels pretty good well they came out with making the way it feels making it look new and then they came out with stripes of it and and they just came out with a new ombre i'm always looking for a good ombre so um I thought I would get them and show you, and then I have it, a sample of it, so we can we can check it out. Okay, so it actually feels pretty good, um, not bad at all. Um, it's better than an, than you know. I don't know. It's nice. It's nice. Better than Red Heart Super Saver. Better than Red Heart with Love. Try to, I try to think of yarns I can compare it to that you might be familiar with. Um, um, so it's a uh, Craft Smart Value Ombre. It is a medium weight number four. I agree with that. That's a nice four weight, 100% acrylic. 214 yards, four ounces, 196 meters, or 120 grams. Machine wash and dry. Pattern included. Ooh. Throw that scarf on there, I guess. It's a knit pattern. Okay, so this one, I'll show you what colors they have first. It feels pretty good, actually. I mean, I'm, I'm digging the way it feels. It feels pretty nice for, for a value yarn, you know. Um, this is uh, Violet Ombre. So that was one color they had. Um, I like all the colors too. I think all the colors are really pretty. Ooh, I like this one too. Green ombre. Love that one. I do like that one a lot. Love this one. <laughs> Brown ombre. No, taupe ombre. I'm sorry. Pretty. I think I got all the colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I'm missing a color. Well then, I didn't get one of them. This one is called Gray Ombre. Which one didn't I get? I don't know. Blue Ombre. Hey, that's an appropriate name right there. Blue Ombre. Blue. <laughs> and here's another one. This one's uh, Red Ombre, let me guess. No, Clay Ombre. Like it. Oh, that's, uh, that's so nice. I like it. I mean, you know, it's for a value acrylic yarn, it's not bad at all. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Which one didn't I get? Oh, I got them all. I thought that I got them all. <laughs> pink. That was pink. So, here it is. There's a pink ombre. Pink ombre. Okay. So, there's your colors they have. Seven of them. All pretty colors. I do have to say, I like that brown, that green, and this clay colored one the best. 
but those are just my type of colors we are now is it an ombre you want to know oh these are 349 a piece um but you can always get stuff on sale michael's right now they have a 20 percent off these online anyways um so yes let's see what we got here I can tell by looking at it that it's not an ombre yarn. <laughs> it is definitely not an ombre. So I put these on my knitting machine and they are not ombre. That is not ombre. There is nothing about that that is ombre. That is a striped yarn. To even consider, think that we would think that was an ombre is insulting. I think it is. It's a pretty striped yarn though. Shouldn't have labeled it as ombre, because that is in no way. They already have stripes though, so they couldn't do that. Definitely nothing about that is ombre. But it is very pretty. So this is one entire ball on a knitting machine. I like the colors. I think it's pretty. Um, and I would definitely buy it again for especially if it was 20% off that $349. But not for an ombre. I love the colors of the stripes. <laughs> How about that? It's pretty. Let's compare it to a couple other ombres on the market. You want to? It says Caron, um, uh, Caron Ombre Jumbo. I never liked this ombre. And I'll tell you why. For one thing, I mean the gradient, the um, the transition is a little bit slower. And color, you see that in ombre, shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to see a barely a visible line between the transition, barely, if any at all. Um, and it's it's not bad here, but for some reason on all their ombres, they stuck a white stripe through them all. I don't know why they did that. They did that. This is the Caron Ombre Jumbo is what it is. Every single color has a white stripe through it, and it's off-putting. Well, some people might like it. I like I don't like it and I don't consider it an ombre with that white stripe through it. Even at even though yeah, even if it didn't have that white stripe, I would think it would be more of a gradient yarn. Because the, the the stripes are pretty the color changes are pretty visible. But um it's not the color changes are not as bad in this one as they are in this one. Those are completely stripes. This is a half ombre, half stripe. And then we'll go to Red Heart Ombre, which I always say is, it's not the greatest, but it's not, it is the best ombre that is easily accessible in the big box stores in the United States. There you go. That looks nice, doesn't it? For an ombre, it's not that bad. Look at that. See the lines where they transition are not too visible. And that's really what you want from an ombre. It's just barely. I don't think it's bad at all, really. I always said this was the best, so. This is Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. You can buy this pretty much anywhere in the States. Any big box store, Walmart, anywhere. Walmart's the cheapest, I believe. But, yeah, that's... That's some, it does, you know, out of all of them, though, this one feels the worst. <laughs> so it looks the best as far as ombres go, as the way the uh, they the colors transition on them. It looks the closest to an ombre out of these three, but it feels the worst. It's stiff, not that great. But Red Heart does soften up after a wash. This one feels the softest out of all the three, but it's the worst ombre I've ever seen in my life. That is not an ombre. That is a striped yarn. That's that's bad. Come on, Michael, you can do better. And this one, I don't know. I just it feels okay. Um, as far as softness, it's better than Red Heart. It's not as good as Craft Smart. It's in between, but it's still scarfable. But that white stripe is a big turnoff for me. Maybe not for other people, but I never really liked Caron's uh, ombre. I never did. It's that white stripe. They're into it with that white stripe. Okay, so back to uh, Michael's Craft Smart. 
my final thoughts is I like it and I said I would definitely buy it again I think all the colors are very pretty they got some attractive colors definitely should never have labeled that as an ombre it's a striped yarn but it's still beautiful nonetheless and I would definitely make some stuff out of that I think this hat this this one would make a really pretty hat as long as I could color control those stripes and I definitely could all these colors are great and I, don't, I think the price is nice you know $3.49 but like I said get 20% off of that um and make it even better i think if you guys got this you would if you've been if you've had crash mart before and you got and you didn't like it and if you got the new ones like they're striped ones and this so-called ombre but not ombre ombre but not that's what they should have named it um i think you'd be pleasantly surprised that this doesn't feel the way that it used to it feels a lot better give it a go you may like it, you may not. I always say, my opinions can be different than yours. Remember, I bought all this yarn, all of it that I showed you. I'm not sponsored by yarn companies. Nor do I have affiliated links. I don't care if you buy it. I only, it's only my job to show you and tell you my honest opinions. It's an okay yarn. Yeah, I like it, but it's not an ombre. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you on my next video, okay? Stay safe, guys. Bye.